So, what's your name? Joel Seiden. Nice. And do you want to tell me what you do? Uh, yes, I'm a partner uh, at Stonehenge Partners, which is a real estate investment company in New York City. That's awesome. When did you sort of decide, I want to be a vegan? About two and a half years ago, I went to a wonderful health retreat in Fiji of Tony Robbins. Nice. And I learned a lot about just the whole process of health and and decided after that week that it was time to uh, change the trends in my life and give up alcohol and become a vegan. Nice. And what did you notice immediately on that journey? Uh, immediately, I slept better, felt better, uh, didn't feel addicted to coffee, didn't feel addicted to alcohol, didn't feel addicted to pretty much anything, and just had a, lost about 50 pounds and just my life transformed and I haven't looked back. My eyesight has, uh, amazingly, I've been wearing glasses and contacts since I'm about 10 years old. And at this moment, I am not wearing anything. I don't wear anything to drive. I don't wear anything to watch TV or see. Absolutely, um, my eyesight has improved. And is there anything that you ever miss? Uh, yeah, I miss a glass of red wine. Mm -hmm. I miss, um, Chicken wings. You do? I, chicken wings is definitely a downfall. Um, <laughs> I do. Um, uh, can't resist a brownie sometimes, which has some dairy in it. And mm -hmm. I just say, okay, I'm not going to care. And uh, so those are sort of my, my misses. And if I go to a baseball game, a hot dog is clearly something that I miss. But I don't indulge. My diet before was strictly steak, wine almost nightly, you know, Potatoes is a very standard night diet, and I, and I eat out every night of the week. Uh -huh. and I still do pretty yeah. much eat out every night of the week. If this trend continues, uh -huh. I'm really going to be in trouble in another five years. Yeah. And I better do something to reverse this trend and put health as a priority in my life, not on the bottom of the list. And right. I pretty much had it on the bottom of my list, if it was on the list at all. Yeah. And so by moving that up and its priority... I started to just pay more attention. I started to read more books on health. I started to watch more movies yeah. on all these things. If you get intelligent about it, yes. you know that processed food isn't nearly as good as natural, organic vegetables and fruit yes. for you. It's not a good comparison. You go to any restaurant, any sushi restaurant, any steak restaurant, and there's always something on a menu for me to eat, and um, it's a non-issue. It's great. And I think the biggest thing was to get over the fact of telling other people what they should be doing. Yes. No question that there's vegetarian protein uh, that's fully available. Um, yeah. And supplements that are fully available without having to go eat meat to get protein. Yeah. The idea of eating dairy makes no sense yeah. once you start to understand it and you read books like China Study that talk about the, da the damage of dairy. Yeah. So to me, a combination of Organic Avenue is the best juice that you can have, uh, then being conscious of, of the pH miracle, alkaline acidity balance is very important, mm -hmm. and then I think that um, reading a book like China Study, which is a credentialed book from a, uh, seeing movies like Food Inc., mm -hmm. seeing movies like Fast Food Nation, seeing movies like Earthlings, which is hard to watch, you know, you, you start to get informed yeah. It's basically just about being informed. I think like anything, when you're making a change, if you decide to be an example or be a leader, you have to just not be susceptible to the influences around you. Everybody's making shifts. It's wonderful. You know, they're finding that, you know what, it really is fun. The restaurants are still good. You can still entertain. Yeah. You can still be social. You don't have to become an outlier. Yeah. You can still be very much with everybody and just have different things so it does take a decision to make a choice yeah um, but it's well worth it yeah thank you